In, in the Department of Radiology, we have a, an excellent blend of young and, and middle and older radiologists. You know, so experience, uh, different levels of experience. So what I like is different backgrounds. We have fellowship trained radiologists, which is very important. That means that the, this person has been advanced training beyond his residency, beyond the four years of residency, or another year or two of specialized training at the top institutions in the country. And then they come back to the community and can offer that level of care to the community member in this neighborhood. I think it's a big advantage going to a hospital such as New York Methodist, because it's small, yet it can offer the care that you can get at a large hospital. It's very important. And we know also when we can't handle something. That's also important, because you can't say, I can do anything. There are certain hospitals that are needed for certain diseases. So you want to go to a place where people know limitations and know when to refer. And I think, again, the New York part of New York Methodist helps, because you have the New York Cornell Institution, Columbia, top-notch hospitals that we can refer to or get expertise or second opinions from. Speaking from my department and the Department of Radiology, we are 100 percent accredited by the American College of Radiology. A consumer should always ask this because not every facility is. And if it's not fully accredited, it might mean you're getting too much radiation or you're not even going to find what's there because the, the technique that is being used is not appropriate. And you'd be surprised, many of the bigger hospitals that you would think are fully accredited are not. So when you go into a place, you ask, are you fully accredited by the American College of Radiology? And that's something I could say that we are at New York Methodist Hospital. Also, you want to know about the equipment. What kind of commitment is there to upgrading equipment? Because in radiology, this changes so quickly. It's like computers, how, how fast they change. And if you don't keep up, you're not going to be offering the, the patient the best possible chance of that patient finding out what's wrong with him and getting better. Some of the examples at New York Methodist recently purchased two new CAT scan machines, which is state of the art, um, an MRI machine, and cardiac MRI, which is unusual. It's very unusual. To, it's, it's probably one of a handful of programs in the city, and we can tell people what's wrong with their heart without doing angiograms, without doing more invasive studies. We also have the new state of the art biplane angiogram. <coughs> this is very important because if you have any kind of strokes, and stroke, if, if, I'm sure people out there know other relatives or friends who've had stroke, how devastating it could be. And this is a machine that can actually help doctors reverse a stroke. If, you've ha if you have the early symptoms, if you get in early enough, they can actually pull out clots or stop bleeding. And you don't have this horrible disability that you see where people are paralyzed or they can't talk. So this is something that's very important that you know in advance where these hospitals are located that have this equipment. And we have state-of-the-art son sonography. Again, that's the sound wave test, and we can do biopsies on the sonogram. And the beauty of the sonogram is that there's no radiation. So when a woman has a breast mass, for example, you can do a sonogram. It's no radiation to the breast and find the lesion, determine often whether it's benign or malignant without even putting a needle in. And if you do have to put a needle in, it will guide you in that direction. We also have MRI of the breast which is very important because particularly young women, and we have many young women in the Park Slope area, or women with dense breasts, and they have to know, they have to ask their doctor, do I have dense breasts? It's very important to know because there's an increased risk of breast cancer with dense breasts. A regular mammogram will not show cancer in many of these women, and these women have to have an MRI. The MRI is not available everywhere, and it's not available state-of-the-art everywhere. <coughs> so again, you want to ask your doctor, if you're a female, do I have dense breasts? And if so, are you sending me for an MRI? And if not, why? Because there's no reason that I could think of why he wouldn't want to.